Public opinion turns against superheroes due to the collateral damage caused by their crime fighting. After several lawsuits, the government initiates the superhero relocation program, which forces supers to permanently adhere to their secret identities and abandon their exploits. 15 years later, Bob and Helen Park, formerly known as Mr. Incredible and Elastigirl, and their children, Violet, Dash, and baby Jack Jack, are a suburban family living in Metroville. Although he loves his family, Bob resents the mundanity of his suburban lifestyle and white-collar job as an insurance adjuster. Together with his best friend, Lucius Best, formerly known as Frazone, Bob occasionally relives the glory days by moonlighting as a vigilante. One day, after his supervisor, Gilbert Hoof, prevents him from stopping a mugging, Bob loses his temper and injures him, resulting in Bob's dismissal. Returning home, Bob receives a message from a woman called Mirage, who gives him a paying mission to destroy a savage, tripod-like robot, the Omnidroid, on the remote island of Nomenison. Bob battles and disables it by tricking it into ripping out its own power source. Bob finds the action and higher pay rejuvenating. He improves his relationship with his family and begins rigorous physical training to lose weight while awaiting another assignment from Mirage over the next two months. Finding out there in his super suit, he visits superhero costume designer Edna Mood to have it mended. Assuming that Helen knows what Bob is doing, Edna also makes suits for the rest of the family. Setting out for Nomenison once again, Bob discovers Mirage is working for Buddy Pine, a disaffected former fan whom he had rejected as his aspiring sidekick, Incredible. Buddy Ha has now become a ruthless inventor and wealthy arms dealer. Having adopted the alias syndrome, he has been perfecting the Omnidroid by hiring different superheroes to fight it, killing them in the process. Syndrome intends to send the perfected Omnidroid to Metroville, where he will secretly manipulate its controls to defeat it in public, becoming a hero himself. He then plans to sell his inventions, intent on having countless individuals with technology-based superpowers. Helen visits Edna and learns what Bob has been up to. She activates a beacon Edna built into the suits to find Bob, an ADB certainly causing him to be captured while infiltrating Syndrome's base. Helen borrows a private plane to travel to Nomenison. She finds out that Violet and Dash have stowed away, leaving Jack-Jack with babysitter Curry. Helen's radio transmissions are picked up by Syndrome, who sends anti-aircraft missiles to shoot her down. The plane is destroyed, but Helen and the kids survive and use their powers to reach the island. Helen infiltrates the base and discovers Syndrome's plan. Discontented with Syndrome's indifference when her life was threatened, Mirage releases Bob and informs him of his family's survival. Helen arrives and races off with Bob to find their children. Syndrome's guards chase Dash and Violet, who fend them off with their powers before reuniting with their parents. Syndrome captures them all, leaving the family imprisoned while he follows the rocket transporting the Omnidroid to Metroville. The Paz escape to Metroville in another rocket with Mirage's help. Due to its advanced artificial intelligence, the Omnidroid recognizes Syndrome as a threat to itself and shoots off the remote control on Syndrome's wrist, making him incapable of controlling it and knocking him unconscious. The Paz and Lucius fight the Omnidroid together. Helen acquires the remote control, allowing Bob to use one of the robot's claws to destroy its power source. Returning home, the Paz finds Syndrome, who plans to kidnap Jack-Jack and raise him as his own sidekick out of revenge. As Syndrome flies up toward his jet, Jack-Jack's own shape-shifting superpowers manifest and he escapes Syndrome in murder. Helen catches Jack-Jack, and Bob throws his car at Syndrome's plane as he boards it. Syndrome is sucked into the jet's turbine by his own cape and the plane explodes, the wreckage destroying the Paz house in the process. Three months later, the Paz witness the arrival of Supervillain the Underminer. They don their superhero masks, ready to face the new threat together as a family.